The fundamentals of Principio Potosi is that Potosi is not a historical case. It is a case which is um, which, you, which is contemporary, and it is not a South American history. It is a European and the history of globalization. And this is for us the most important point. Therefore, we invited contemporary artists from the places from which we think that they are now Principio Potosi places. And so this kind of historical measuring of globalization in the 17th century is for us very important on one side. On the other side, it is an important task, uh, important issue to see which, which ideological function art takes in this kind of globalization as it took in the 17th century and if it is uh, possible to, to, to think parallels to the ideological function that art took now in the globalized world. In the last 20 years, I think a very short reception of modern and modernism and I think that, that the modernity is directly connected with the colonization so it is that modernity is only one side of the coin and the other side of the coin is the colonization. I think for us it is much more important to see that colonialism is only one part of capitalism and that in the same time in the 17th and 18th century you had fights on both sides of the continent in America as well as in Europe against the, the origin of capitalism now and to think history not in cases of identity and, and colonialization, uh, more in, in, uh, in a term like uh, a globalized fight against a globalized system. This is for us important. It is dealing with the history in some kind that it is not a linear history. It denies this kind of linearity of history. It thinks history in some kind of simultaneity. And this is for us very important because we think that this kind of linear thinking of history is also a kind of colo colonial view. Mm -hmm. The idea was also if we, as we tried to, to, to look for colonial paintings from this period, that means not that we only um, um, uh, look for pictures from Potosi, also from places where the migration works starts and go to Potosi. So, to show also the system and also how the image production, what was behind these paintings, go on. And it is all the time some kind of analyzing uh, on the one side the function of the power and on the other side the possibility of, of resistance. If you looked in, in, uh, in um, powerful states of dictatorships, you have this kind of human rights tickets with art and the other you have this kind of liberty as the sign of if there is free art there cannot be broken human rights but um, and the artist get or the art production get more and more instrumentalized by these kind of issues and so that is the background it is not a group exhibition it is a kind of outcome of a col a collective process which is starting since the beginning of the of the of the of the research since one and a half years and for us it is very important to say that this exhibition is, it is not the main part it is only one part in a kind of collective process so the dispositive of the exhibition shows also how things are intervening and how the autonomous positions of the artists are intervening with each other and some kind are uh, losing their, their, their margins. <laughs> Uno de los problemas que eh, estuvimos enfrentando en la creación de este proyecto eh, fue el fetiche que se construye alrededor de la identidad vinculada a territorios fijos y determinados. Entonces, eh, lo que intentamos hacer en realidad es crear un proyecto realmente internacional que encuentra sus voces y amplifica voces de distintos lugares. O sea, hay distintos centros. Eh, porque hemos creado partiendo de una eh, entidad curatorial que ya en sí es heterogénea porque somos tres curadores eh, o comisarios. Eh, luego 
tenemos un sistema de corresponsales y a partir de ellos, ellos iban contactando más gente, entonces se crea como una estructura tipo rizomática. Eh, pero eso es lo que, lo que hace al final, ¿no? Una, una eh, complicidad de voces que se distribuye alrededor de bueno, los centros que nos interesan. Intentamos establecer toda una red horizontal eh, que produzca eh, en ciertos núcleos, digamos, de concentración eh, temático. Intentamos que la gente capte un poco sus condiciones locales y eh, las conecte hacia nuestras propuestas eh, conceptuales. Y entonces eso sería, por ejemplo, en el caso de Isaías Griñolo, es el enfoque de su entorno local y su, bueno, la dinámica económica, política que se genera allá y las iniciativas eh, a las que está vinculada su trabajo. Y eh, bueno, entonces él llama eh, Huelva es mi Potosí local.